Hey Dan, tell us about the paintbrush in Sketchable. I can do that. Today we're going to learn about the paintbrush in Sketchable app. What is it? Why do we use it? Why do we need it? This is Digital Drawing in Sketchable with DTM. That's me. And today I'm here to walk you through the paintbrush menu in Sketchable. Let's get started by opening Sketchable, available from the Microsoft Store on all Windows 10 devices. As you can see, we're back where we left off in the last time we were in Sketchable with this amazing, beautiful face. I love it. Now, what is the paintbrush in Sketchable? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. It's right here. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller and tap on the paintbrush. As you can see, there's a ton of options available to us and using this tool. The first one is the stabilization or smoothing settings. And let me go ahead and turn that on because now I get to have some options about how sensitive, how smooth this my strokes are going to be. Uh, smoothest, the leash, and, and uh, oh, this, that's fun, that's fun. Let's go ahead and try that out. Let me make sure I have a new layer. Boom, and now go ahead, oh. Is, uh, and let's go ahead and try this pin. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you can make a line of where you want. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. You c it's, it sets a leash so that you can see where your line is coming and following you on. Another option in this menu is uh, the top bar allows us to make the line thinner. Let me turn off this leash because even though it's fun, I don't want to use it. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I actually don't. I want the smoothest. What about that? Give me the smoothest. And of course, I want pressure. There you go. Look at that. So it's pretty smooth. I can go fast. I can go slow. Nice. Sometimes I turn it off so that I can go by my skill and see what I'm able to draw. And of course, through years and years of practice, I've been able to master the smooth line. I got lots of lessons on that. The next set of icons are gonna be where the pressure ends and begins on this tool. Let me go ahead and get turn that layer off so that we can focus on what I'm drawing and not so much on my face. So as you can see, if I turn off the first icon, then I get pressure sensitivity in the beginning of my line, but not at the end. And if I turn off the third icon, then I don't have any pressure sensitivity at all. This is especially helpful when you want your drawing to have that steady, clean line weight throughout the whole drawing. Next, we have an angle that is not necessarily going to work in this brush because that is mostly reserved for the pencil. We can lock all our settings so that no matter what we do with us with this brush, we do not bother any other settings that we have set up. And so now, if I have edited some of these settings here, I can always restore the basic settings back to where they were and start drawing again. And those settings that I want to edit sometimes live back here. And now we get to see a whole lot more settings that we can adjust. And a lot of times when you're ready to make an adjustment here, what you want to do is select the plus. So now you have a copy of the main brush. So here's the, the main brush. And now let's go back to the copy. This is the copy now. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color so that we can tell the difference that this is the brush that came with Sketchable. And I'll go ahead and reset those settings back on. And now I'm going to select the brush that I just created. And now I'm going to adjust some of these settings here. And it is. Oh, that's nice. Let's make it bigger. Look at that. Let's keep playing. What else you got, Sketchable? There's a ton of settings here that I like to play with. Nice. It has like a little, little, little stripes, little lines that run alongside it. 
And, and these are the shapes of the brush in itself. There we go, look at that, that's awesome. What else do we have? What you got, Sketchable? Oh, I like that one. So it all comes out very streaky. And we can play on and on and on. Oh, wow. There it is. Yes, yes. This brush is amazing and it offers a lot of flexibility in adjusting your settings to get the kind of brush that you want, including this profile here. Look. Come on, there it is. Oh, I like this one. This one I'm gonna have to keep. I'm gonna have to keep you. I like it, I like that. I like how it can start off real thin, like if the, the, the least amount of pressure that you press, and I can take that down so I can get really clean. Look at that, yes! It's a combination of all of these settings that we have here that make things uh, special for each brush. Now the feathering, the angle, the spacing, all of those things start to work in your favor, depending on what you're doing. Oh, that's a great for like the st stippling. Oh, so if we was to do like a stippling or even even the shadows, that is awesome. Woohoo! All right, now of course we have the flow and the opacity. And I like to play with these all the time, these flows and opacities, because I want to then sometimes, let me go ahead and fix all these things here. There we go, boom, boom. Sometimes I wanna build out the sketch. I wanna go, instead of just having a solid line, I wanna build it out and slowly say, okay, this is, this is what I'm gonna do. Nice. Whew. <laughs> uh, tell me what you think about the paintbrush tool. Is it awesome? Can you try out all the different textures and settings and all the different brushes? Take a look, have a test, sketch out something and see what you like, see what works for you and see which ones are gonna be your favorite. Because each and every dot here down below is an extra brush that you can adjust, start fresh, and of course remember, if you like something and you like this brush, let's say I like this brush, this is cool, I like how this brush works, let me add another copy of that brush, and then this brush, I will go ahead and change the round, the, the profile. And so as you can tell, the more we scroll down, the more settings we have, the more you're able to adjust the brush to then create your own series of brushes. That's what I like about the settings that are available to us and all these different brushes. Look at that, that's awesome. That is great. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM, and I hope that today's tips are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity. Please share, like, and subscribe for more Sketchable insights. Until next time.